Hey, thanks for stopping by everybody. Welcome to To Be Keto. Today we're going to talk a little bit about cast iron. So I just bought this brand new cast iron pan and it's never been used. This is made by Lodge. Um, I do support Lodge. They, they are made in the USA. Um, they're cheap and if you take care of them, they will last you a lifetime. So there is a problem though, not really a problem, but something that uh, can be a little bit discouraging, especially if you don't have any experience with cast iron, and that is they're rough. They're really rough. Now they're pre-seasoned, but if you tried to cook an egg in this thing right now over easy, it would, it would stick and you'd wind up with scramble eggs with uh, half your eggs left in the pan. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can actually clean this pan up a little bit, re-season it, and this thing will cook an egg the first time out and it'll slide around in this pan just like butter. So all you're gonna need to do this is just some sandpaper. I'm gonna start with 80 grit, get, get rid of some of this roughness in here, and then I'm gonna step up to about 120, smooth it out a little bit more, then we're gonna re-season it. I do recommend you do this outside or in the garage, anywhere that's got some good ventilation. You don't want to be breathing in the iron dust that you're going to create. So with that said, let's go outside. Okay, so we're just going to take some 80 grit sandpaper and sand the base of this thing and up the edge just a little bit, but um, it only takes a, just a minute or two with the 80 grit. Then we're going to switch this over to 120 grit, sand it for about another minute or so. And that should be good to go. Now you can see here that there are a few pits in this thing. Now it's pretty common to still see a few pits that are a little bit deeper than normal. That's, that's perfectly fine. You'll find that on most of this cast iron. Um, but the next thing we want to do is get this in the sink, a real quick bath, nothing long, a little bit of soap is fine. Dry it out with a lint-free towel. Then we're going to put this on the stove on medium heat and just put a little bit of heat in the pan, not too much. Then we're going to dry this out again with a lint-free rag. Put some avocado oil in there. Um, I, the, it, it works well for me. You can use other oils too, but avocado oil works really good. We're going to set our oven to 400 degrees, get that preheated. Then we're going to flip this upside down on a tin, a tin foil line sheet and put that in the oven on 400 for about 30 minutes turn the oven off and let it come back down to room temperature and we're going to repeat this three times. Okay, just to, just to check in real quick, this is done with the first round in the oven. You're going to notice just a real light golden color on the pan here. Perfectly normal, even after three times it's probably going to look like that, but we want to add a little bit more olive oil in here, just a little bit. Wipe it around real good. Flip that rag around. You don't want any, any, you don't want to be able to see the oil. Just, it should almost feel dry. So back in the oven. Okay, so we've gone through the three steps, you know, heating and cooling in the oven with the oil. So time to add some butter and get the butter spread around a little bit. We want to see, well, I want to just show you guys how easy this is. So let's crack an egg, get the egg in here, and, uh, well, get the shell out of there too. Um, now, Again, this is just like on a medium, medium low heat, not too hot. Gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you're gonna see how this thing just slides around just like it was a nonstick pan. It is really, really that good. All you guys gotta do is just sand that down and re-season it. And this thing is just perfect. Now the real test <laughs> slides right off onto your plate. Just like that. That is perfect. Still got the light golden brown color in here. That'll darken up over time the more you cook with it, but no sticking whatsoever. Perfectly cooked egg. It's really that simple. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat my egg, but uh, I hope that helped you out. You know, Lodge makes good stuff. A um, little rough. Super simple to just clean that up. And um, you got a really good cast iron. Take care of it. Don't use soap, you know, when you clean it up, keep it oiled. And uh, there's a lot of really good videos out there about, uh, you know, how to care for your cast iron. Maybe we'll do a future video on, on a, how to care, care for that stuff long term too. So anyways, um, I have a fork. I'm going to eat. See you next time.